Hello, my name is Barry Pascaluti um, and I lead the uh, pre-sales engineering team at VQ Communications and I'd like to give you a brief overview of the VQ Conference Manager Outlook add-in. The first thing to say about the Outlook add-in is it's not a thick client, it's not an install on the client side on the user's desktop. Um, it's actually served from the VQ Conference Manager server and it is assigned to your Outlook users from the Exchange server. Uh, and that is uh, Exchange 2016 uh, uh, or Office 365. We, we, we support both. Um, so you can see the Conference Manager add-in uh, button in my Outlook ribbon here. Oh, and, and by the way, um, it's worth pointing out that because this is served from the VQ Conference Manager server, uh, it is actually platform independent. Um, so we're currently looking at Outlook on my Mac, but uh, I have exactly the same capabilities on Outlook uh, for Windows. So I will click the Conference Manager add-in um, and the first thing I need to do of course is log in. So I'm going to log in as uh, myself. Now um, I am a, an operator on uh, this particular Conference Manager instance. Um, so what I'll see when I log in is um, all of the spaces that I have visibility of and because I am uh, an operator I can see everybody's space. So I can see that um, there are currently five active spaces and lots of inactive spaces. You will notice I have a search bar as well, so I can search my own personal space. Um, there it is. Uh, or I can go back and uh, from this page I can actually manage the calls in, uh, in any of these spaces. So if I click um, this uh, top space, uh, someone called D. Engelbart, um, I can see all of the participants within this call and as I hover my mouse over each participant I have some call operator um, uh, moderation uh, con controls here. So I can uh, mute, unmute, um, I can change the screen layout, I can set this particular uh, part participant to important um, and I can remove a particular participant uh, from the call as well. Um, I can change the settings of the space here as well, um, specifically the uh, passcode. There's the current uh, it's a five digit passcode for this particular space. Um, and um, I can create a new space. So if I click the new space um, button, um, there's, uh, I, I can choose the space template that I want to base this uh, um, space on. Um, and if I pick manage meeting, for example, this being a two role space, um, there's my meeting manager passcode and the um, uh, the participant passcode. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you, if I now um, open up a calendar invitation, um, you'll see that the conference manager button is uh, in the ribbon here as well. I'll click the uh, ribbon. Let me log in this time as the uh, user that we uh, looked at before, the uh, Doug Engelbart user. Um, so let me put his credentials in here. Um, and the first thing to note is I only see one space here. Um, that's because I'm not an operator now. This uh, uh, Engelbart person is an ordinary user, so he can only see the spaces that he is a member of, and in this case, his, just his own space. But because the context has changed, we're now in a calendar invitation um, window rather than the main Outlook window. You'll notice I've got this uh, green button. I, I can still create a new space, by the way, um, that, 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 uh, and I can still search spaces. Uh, that, that, that functionality doesn't change. But if I click the green button, what it will actually do is it will auto-populate this uh, calendar invite with all of the details uh, of my space. Um, this is based on an editable HTML template, so you can control exactly how, the, um, how you want this uh, email to look. Um, we've chosen to put in um, the meeting ID here at the top. Um, this particular um, space does not have a passcode, um, but uh, there's the manual dial-in URI. Um, but uh, the other thing that we can do with HTML templates, of course, is we can put hyperlinks in. So here's a hyperlink which will cross-launch the uh, Cisco Meeting App client. Um, there's another hyperlink here that will uh, launch Skype for Business or Jabber, perhaps. And then there's another hyperlink here that, that will cross-launch the WebRTC client. Um, and we've also populated again the, the meeting ID uh, uh, with the, the, into the uh, meeting link. So all of the users have to do that when they receive this email is at the scheduled start time, 
press the link uh, and that will automatically um, bring them into the call. So to summarize, the, the, the Conference Manager Outlook add-in um, gives your users access to uh, their spaces. Um, it allows them to control and manage in-flight calls. It also uh, allows them to invite participants into their space, um, either their own personal space or a brand new space that they've created uh, especially for this particular meeting. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for your attention um, and goodbye.